describe a little bit about the design for the wetland mitigation here? The overall design here implemented natural channel design methods for over 1,500 feet of linear stream length to improve overall stream conditions, reduce erosion, and also to um, prevent channel head cutting. Um, and additionally, we created over one acre of wetland mitigation using a step pool kind of approach to improve wetland hydrology to ensure its success overall. Could you tell us a little bit about the successful establishment of the wetland vegetative community? Sure. Um, the establishment of uh, a wetland community involves uh, starting out with a good soil. Um, so when we excavated, we made sure we kept the, the good soils, put that back in, uh, and seeded with appropriate seed mix, uh, wetland seed mixes and upland seed mixes. Um, and then it followed up over the next several years of um, treating uh, invasive species to ensure we uh, enabled a natural community to establish. Um, wetland mitigation success involved keeping the, uh, the client and the state and federal agencies involved throughout the construction process uh, and we invited and had several agency field views during and following construction. Scott, <clears throat> could you tell us about the wetland benefits here at Cumberland? Sure, uh, it's twofold. Uh, the first part was water quality enhancements by uh, eliminating erosion, um, providing more of a wetland buffer uh, for the, uh, the stream itself. Uh, in addition, the uh, adjacent uh, schoolhouse enables the wetland to function as uh, environmental education. <laughs> 